Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is August the 8th, 2020. I'm in Slidell, Louisiana. Today on the job, we got Good Time Charlie and Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph is still a little bit incapacitated with his arm in a sling from his sh shoulder surgery, but he's here for moral support as well as superior guidance on the demolition of the what we have to do, taking down some plywood on the inside. So today, our bees are located in the wall right here. In fact, let me get the flare right now and I'll show you where the bees are picking up on the flare. Now this is where our bees are located. Well, they're, they're located in the wall at, at this spot right here, but their entrance to the hive is where that hole is right there. And the bees are, they're, they're really not even flying right now. We're about, it's about, oh, about 8.15 in the morning. And they're not really flying right now, but let me show you what the bees, the hive, looks like on the flare. And that red glow, that bright red glow that you're seeing right there, that's where our bees are. And then let me show you where the laser beams, when they hit the wall, show you where the, the bees are inside of our wall. There you go. You can see the two dots right here. That's where the bees are. But this job, we're going to be doing this job from the inside of the house, not the outside. We're not going to worry about this metal build, uh, metal sheathing on the outside of the building right here. And it's an elevated house and the bees are in the walls. So Rocket Ralph and Charlie, they're inside setting things up. We'll go inside. We'll look at, see if we can get the bees on the flear on the inside as well and show you what we got. And as Charlie and Ralph are figuring things out, Look at them inside of here. If <laughs> I can get inside the door. Gotta get, uh... So we're setting it up right now, and this is where the, our bees are located into the wall right there. Yeah. You can see in the, the area right here, we're gonna take this piece of plywood off, this piece off, and our bees, our bees are right there. That's where our bees are. The, comb, the bees are right there. But I don't know how far that comb is going to be coming down. So that's why we're going to remove this plywood. So I think really that's it. It's a pretty straightforward job as most of them are. So the grace of God, a couple hours, me, Ralph, Charlie, we'll be out of here setting these bees up at the Abbey. Let's wrangle, huh? And there she is, folks. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's like roach haven here, huh? Golly. It's like these roaches love to be around beehives. Now this, this hive, um, it's not the first one here in this location because as we were taking the boards off, I could see cocoons where wax moth had been in here previously. Now, of course, you see all that termite damage, so that's gonna have to be addressed but not by me. We're just strictly here for the bees. So we're gonna back these girls up. It looks pretty good. They seem to be pretty calm. When I first pulled that plywood down, they just showered me. So I was glad I had on my suit. We got the window open right here. So all our bees are gonna to go to the, at least the, the ones that are flying around, they're gonna to go to this window right here. And I'm just gonna start, I think I'll start with this section right here and take care of this. All right, looks pretty to me. Let's go to Backman. Here she is. Yes. 
so. <laughs> I can't believe. Look at that, folks. <laughs> like within, I don't know, five minutes of taking that plywood off, we got our queen. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, that's really great because that's just going to make this whole job so much easier just to be able to vacuum bees without paying attention to where, looking for our queen, wasting a lot of time looking for her. There she is. I'm going to set her in the window, let the other bees just go to her, and I'm going to vacuum up these bees. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! All our comb is, is now removed. I mean, there was a lot of hive beetles in this one. There was no brood, no brood at all. Very little honey. I, I, don't, I don't think these bees were gonna make it uh, much longer in this location. Um, they're gonna be coming back to the Abbey and I'll start feeding them up there, see if we can get them to, to resuscitate. But we've still got a, a few of them running around in here and I really can't access that area with the vacuum. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and run them out with uh, some honey bandit. I'll spray it from the outside in some of these cracks. Whatever bees that are in here, it'll push them out and I'll be able to vacuum in here. But there's no comb for them to run to, but they'll still run, run to this area. And after, um, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the bees in our window right here, get those things vacuumed up, and then we'll run our bees out of there because I'm sure some of them will fly over there. We'll vacuum those things out and we're just about wrapped up. Check that out, folks. The homeowner, they want to give us a little present right here. Uh, they make these little plaques. And look at that. Nice bees on it. That is really nice. So I'm going to put these up in the office. I might get one to Charlie, but I doubt it. <laughs> in this section of the wall right here is where our comb that we just pulled out, that's where it was. But on this section, there was a hive in here previously because you can see the scars on the material in there from the wax moth cocoons. So a, a long time ago, because there was no wax or any kind of noticeable evidence of the previous hive being in here, 
other than these scars of the wax moth cocoon on the material on the wood. And then on the ground you can see the, the cocoons still that were here. It wasn't much of a hive, but what hive was there? It ain't there no more. It is gone. I mean, there's a lot of work. Look at this. This is, I mean, this is evidence of termite damage, obvious, along as well all the tracks of it. There's some serious termite damage on the beams. There's going to have to be some work done on all this, but that's not for mine to uh, worry about. The homeowner will take care of all this. But it's one reason why these bees are, are being removed because they are going to be doing work down here. So we're going to go ahead and do one more backup because we only have a few more bees. But after we do that, we're going to go ahead and show you the bees and we're going to be getting out of here. <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> I forgot to bring my screen that I normally have between my vacuum head and the, and the vacuum body. And because I forgot to bring the screen, fortunately there's a screen inside of the vacuum head part. So the bees are still locked in there so we can't give you a good shot of them. There really aren't a lot of bees. I, I mean, if there's 10,000 bees, I think that's a lot. I mean, maybe maybe three pounds of bees in this one. But the 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 hive, it, this hive is a struggling hive. Um, there was no brood, like I said, very very little honey, no pollen stores, none of that. So these guys, they were they were definitely on their way out. So I'll be bringing them up to the abbey. I'm going to put them in a nuke box. I don't even think there's enough bees to protect the nuke box, but we're going to try. Put them in a nuke box. I'm not going to use any of that comb. Any, I'm not going to use any of it. There were too many beetles. I'm sure it's infested with eggs already. So we're going to just put um, some drawn comb, old drawn comb out, and we're going to release the bees on, onto that. So I think, I wish I could show you the bees, but it's not that impressive. Our queen's inside here. They, there's a couple of tenders on her right now. But um, we're going to go ahead and finish throwing this in the van. The van's already loaded up, and it's our last thing. And we'll close this video up. <laughs> the three amigos, huh? It, it, this job, I mean, was simple job. We found the queen within, I don't know, five minutes. So what happened was when I took that piece of plywood off of there and I set it on the side, Ralph went over there real quick, and he's looking, he's looking. And then what he did was he took that queen and he moseyed her down a little bit where I see her because he's so nice, you know, he said, I'll let Mr. Red find him on this one. So we found that queen like that quick. It was really good. Uh, I don't, I mean, other than that, it's straightforward bees. These bees are going to get pampered, see if they make it through the dearth into the winter, through the winter. I don't know. It's, that's, that's up to God and the bees. It's, uh, I'll do my part, take care of the bees, and everything else will just leave to God. You got anything else to say? Well, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We're going to be making more. God, God, bless. God bless. We're out of here. Mr. Mr. Ed, Charlie, and we're good wreck and All of them. We're out of here. <laughs>
and they'll they might fly up in the air, but eventually they'll they're going to come settle on, onto their queen right here. And after I get all the frames knocked off and the box cleaned out, then I'll I'll put the top onto this and get all these bees settled in. So yeah, Ralph, Ralph, you know, brave Ralph, he's not gonna wear a suit. Me, chicken head, yeah, I do. There are not many bees in there. It's not a lot of bees, period. That's why the, the nuke is a better idea than trying to put them in a tent frame. Now these frames, we're starting to get some bees on them. And then on this one as well. box we got a couple on the box as well so we're going to just bounce these guys now I don't want to bounce the bees that are in this because I vacuumed up a lot of beetles in here so I'm, I'm going to leave these bees alone and uh, I'll go through this and squish the beetles but I don't want to put any beetles in my box right here so we got our bees in the box there's no stores in this whatsoever. So then we're going to just set our honey right here. Get our bees going in there. And then we're just going to cover it up. Voila. Yep, Ralph was right. I didn't need my suit. So tomorrow I'll come back here and, and take the queen, release the queen, and these bees, actually in about an hour or so, these bees will all be over into our box. All right, we'll, uh, I might even go ahead and video that part tomorrow when I'm going to turn her loose. So we'll pick this up tomorrow. So I spent 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and release our queen. I cut out a little board because I'm going to place this between the two nuke boxes. Because I don't want the, the mass of the bees to come up into the, this box right here and start building comb. So I set the, um, it's just a little cover board that my jar will fit into. And this will prevent any bees from moving up into this box because this box is completely empty. So I don't want to give them any space. So let's go ahead and look what, what that's looking like. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised because there's more bees on this. I, I was thinking it might hold, if we were lucky, um, two frames of bees, but looks like there's a solid three frames of bees on this. We've got our queen right here, and we're going to turn her loose right now. It is kind of funny to see how fast those bees that were covering the tops of the frames right here, as soon as I release that queen, how whoop, they all move to right this spot. So now that she's down there, I can now put my little cover right in place. And with the cover in place, let me move these bees out of the way. I don't want to squish them. I'm going to set our honey jar right there. And that jar is sitting right on top of the frames. There's about, probably about half of an inch between the bottom of that lid and the uh, frames. So all that's a good space for them. And we're going to close that up. And so now all I have to do is check on the situation of, of that honey from now on.